In this video, we're going to take a look at two uh, database functions. We're going to look at dcount and dcount a. And we need some data. These are database functions, so we need a table to um, do our calculations on. And this is our table, which I've already named table, by the way. Uh, this data is in the Excel help under the information for the dsum function. You can just go in there and copy and paste if you want to use it yourself. And I need a criteria range, which I'm going to use parts of this stuff up here uh, for my criteria. And before we do that, though, um, let's just go down here and uh, review how the count function works. If I go to auto sum here, and um, now the label here is now count numbers. It used to just say count, but now it's count numbers. And um, it tries to count the nearest range of numbers, but uh, that's not what I want. I want this range right here. So hit enter and it tells me that there are six numbers in this column. Okay. Now if I go back in here, it's, it counts the number of cells that have numbers in them. But if I go back in here and let's just double click here and let me delete the range. Oops, I went too far. I'll leave the parenthesis. And go over here and say, okay, well count what's in that column and hit enter. It comes back with the number zero because there are no numbers in that column. So the count function is used to count how many cells in the range have a number. The counterpart here is the count A, which is not listed here. If I go to more functions, um, I can look under database functions and get dcount A, click on OK. And I didn't want dcount A, I wanted count A. So let's go to more functions again. And that would be, let's just choose all here. I'm not sure which category it falls under. And um, let's type in count A. And there we get count A. And it wants to know the range. Well, the range is going to be, let's do this column right here. And you can put multiple ones in here. You can put up 255 things, but you'll never need more than a few probably. And it tells me that there are six things in this range right here. There are six cells that are not empty. So count A counts the cell regardless of what it contains as long as it contains something. And count just counts it if there's a number in it. So that's the difference between count and count A. Now let's try dcount and dcount A. So uh, let's put a dcount function here. We go to our formulas tab again and uh, it's not on one of the books. So you have to go to insert function. By the way you can also go down here for insert function. It's the same thing. And I want, uh, let's go to our database functions, and I want dcount and click on OK. And the database is this stuff right here, and the field is the profit column, and the criteria is just the apple trees, and click on OK. And it tells me that there are three cells here in rows where the tree is apple, they have numbers, and they all have numbers in them. So uh, if for some reason I would go here and delete one of these, then it changes to a 2. I'm going to do a Control Z here to bring that number back, and then it changes back to the 3 down here. So this will work as long as I'm doing a numeric column. It'll work on the height, the age, the yield of the profit column. It will not work on the tree column. Uh, if, you want, if, you, if you're trying to count rows that have data in them, you have to use the count function on a numeric column. And you also have to make sure that there actually is a number there. If there's some blanks in there, it won't count them. Um, so, you know, most of the time you'll have data all the way across the row, but if you have some columns here where you might have some blanks, uh, make sure you pick a column that has numbers all the way down if you want to get an accurate count. Okay, and the alternative here is count A. Let's go to our insert function, do count A, get our function arguments up here. Our database is what we've labeled as table up here. And the field is the profit field or the fifth column. And the criteria range is uh, apple trees right here. And it also gives us three. Um, but the thing about this formula is if we double click on it here and we change the column number from 5 to 1, which is where we have the tree names, and hit enter. Uh, it still tells us 3 because we have non-blanks here in the fields where apple occurs. 
and uh, if we went back up here and changed this one from profit to tree, well, I better put quotation marks in if I do that, and hit enter, it's going to give me a zero because count only counts numbers, count A counts anything that's in a cell. So that's an overview of how count or decount and decount A work in Excel 2013.